So the, uh, the third topic we're going to talk about is the, uh, the Snapchat in-app shopping section. So um, they've not done a massive amount to monetize Snapchat so far other than the standard um, stories, ads and things like that. But now they've opened their own in-app store, which I think generally just focuses on their own merchandise from what I've read. Yep, physical products like hot dogs and things like that. I think there's a lot of uh, reading between the lines here because, I mean, if you look at it, like, like this, this article I went to our marketing land, then uh, they just want to flog their own stuff in the app, but there's more to it than that. I think they might be sort of testing the payment gateways, testing the payment flow, and sooner or later you'll be able to buy a lot of other people's stuff through this. I don't think it's, they're just going to be selling their own stuff forever. It's not going to want to buy a long term commercial model, is it? They're testing no. something to find out whether I think people are in the right mindset on Snapchat to be able to shop in, and then they'll be working with bigger partnerships, I think, further down the line to figure out how they can monetize it a little bit more but that I imagine that I don't think they'll do much in terms of sales if I'm being completely honest no. I think it's uh, we'll look at the spectacles the battle <laughs> yeah. I suspect that every brand that's viable that use discover or that tested discover will have a store at some point and there's the, the Twitter ads you can buy products directly through the Twitter ads can't you I think they partner with Stripe or, someone, or another similar payment provider yeah, so it could be could end up like that couldn't it yeah once, he, once they've got everyone's card details and they've tested the payment flows out and stuff and sold the small volume of their own gear, then uh, a bit more confidence going to market or something like that. Yeah, well, Facebook do it as well for like events and stuff like that, don't they? In yep. our purchases. So I think it's just their, their response to all that in a way. It's a bit of an unusual way to go about it, if I'm being honest, but yeah. selling your own merchandise. But um, I think that's a, a thin front, though. Yep, I think they're, they're testing it, they're going to get everything in play and then any brand with a demographic of 14 to 25 they'll just hammer them and sell them a store it's going to be a lot of young products in it <laughs> i thought the location um point that marketing land raised were really interesting too so they're saying that basically they can get the credit card details and the address of people and they can do location based ads off back of that so if, they, if you're not giving away gps details or whatever if they've got your address from so you submit a payment they could use that so let, yeah, let marketers use to target people it's not exactly new uh, you know, on the frontier of the technology, Facebook's been doing know. that for quite a, a long time, really. But yeah, they're quite a bit behind in that yeah, sort exactly. of targeting, aren't they? So yeah, Snapchat don't really ask you for much stuff when you sign up. Really, you know, you get your email address and your phone number, and there's not a lot else really. Yeah, other than a hundred million photos of yourself. But yeah, well, if you consider you can pretty much go down to street level on Facebook targeting. So yeah, yeah. But does that rely on your GPS, or is that from your? It's from your physical ingest, um, details. Yeah, I wonder if, if you if you, you know, sort of like remarketing and stuff like that. So if you've got if you've got a, a list of your details, like your shipping details and all yeah, that yeah. kind of thing, you can plug that in to Facebook. Yeah, I wonder if that relies on the user's GPS on the phone being enabled and reporting back to Facebook exactly where you oh, are. Right. Yeah. So that's possibly. what I mean. So Snapchat. So say you've got that disabled, Snapchat are going to obviously clean some actual addresses out of people regardless of your GPS data. Yeah. So if I, I were Snapchat, I'd be going to DJ Khaled and saying, right, we're going to partner you with K Swiss. We're going to create a pop-up store in New York. You're going to do a filter that's New York based, saying I'm in Central Park. Come and get 500 pairs of K Swiss, buy them through Snapchat there, and then. Yeah. That, that that's pretty much how, how I see it popping off. I don't think they're going to be able to really leverage it much more than that. Mm. Yep. And if they want to sell their own spectacles again, I mean, did you see how they tried to sell them last time? They just put their like vending machines up in random places. I saw one at uh, British Summertime Festival it, yeah. in London. Yeah, it's just a yellow box. I didn't even have to say Snapchat on it. And then there's just a card machine on it. And uh, you've got a queue up to get them, but no one knew what it was. It was just a yellow box, like an inconspicuous box. And you put, put your card in, you pay like 100 and something quid, and then a pair of glasses just fall out of the bottom. I reckon it's like, it's anybody, all cryptic, and they didn't sell very much. Anybody above the age of like 30 wouldn't have even made that association with them. There was literally <laughs> me and Olfin that knew what this vending machine was. And I went up to tell, uh, I've never seen one. Did it have a ghost on it? I think it had a ghost. I think it was basically just yellow and white. Uh, I don't know if it had a ghost on it. It probably did. That's a bit of a But it didn't have anything there, more it? on it other than a card slot and a, and a price label. I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, I think they're the thinking they've got the brand equity and recognition of Nike there. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's it, yeah. a bit balls in that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah uh, like, like I say, it's only going to appeal to a certain demographic there, isn't it, really? Yeah. They, they don't mind doing the weird marketing tactics, though, do they, obviously? Um, I guess with tech like that might have been better off partnering with Apple stars or something, physical stars, should have been there. Should have just sold all the chaps. Yeah, sold all the company to Facebook. Yeah. How much are they worth now? 
I don't, I don't know, is it rocking? I mean, Facebook offered them five billion when it were first conceived. It's a lot of money. And they turned it down. Maybe that is reflected in this giant yellow box that they've got. <laughs> yeah, well, Facebook aren't had to go, um, sort of brick and mortar or anything, have they, I suppose? Well, Facebook have got Marketplace, haven't they? That's their sort of foray into e com. But have they sold their own gadgets yet? I don't think they have, it's a public. Mm, I don't think they remember any record of it now. Mm. Not really. I don't like marketplace that it looks it cheapens it it makes it feel really sort of boots early I know so that's Craigslist. what it is and that's the intention of it it's, it's, it's Craigslist isn't it in, in Facebook I don't think Snapchat will turn into that it's too that'd be too weird the Snapchat's not a star thing because that's what Mark Elan says isn't it? So it might, might be more of a Facebook marketplace compare but yeah it seems a bit weird that to me we shall see yep